champion Victor Axelson far side of the court getting his second round match underway against Inzi Yong. Play was uh, Commonwealth Games in, in detail, in depth, and I was quite impressed. But look at that. Since then, he has improved. In 2021, he beat former world number one Kidambi Shrikant. So he beat the. I've watched him a lot since those Commonwealth Games, obviously during the games and since. And I like his whole. I mean, he played five tournaments in five weeks, the Asian Games, and then the four tournaments in Europe, where he reached the semi-final. And then he played in Saarbrücken as well. We've only had a week's break before coming here to Kumamoto. As, but I totally agree with you. I think it's, it's difficult. To... They weren't expecting him to do so well. And, and when you're an up-and-coming player, you sort of think, well, if I lose first... With hindsight, maybe he should have taken a bit of a break, but who knows? I mean, he's playing well already. Missed it. Normally is. I mean, he's even hit shots so far here, and Zion's got something back that his attack really is so good. Oh, that was going wide. Yeah, I'm convinced by the drift. Attacking as he obviously is, and his opponent keeps getting it back, it gets to the point where Vic, Victor almost goes for something even more special, and that's where the, the simpler errors do come in. Feel, I've got to hit closer and closer to the lines, I've got to hit better and better angles, because my opponent... ...have the angle or the power or the placement. Oh, that's a little lucky. Yeah, that power and placement, uh, or even angle, because he's a very tall guy, as you mentioned earlier. There's not many other mid-singles players that are quite as, as tall as him. Lost to Li Chia Ho, Chinese Taipei, went on to reach the quarter-final. So it was a tentative start, I think that's fair to say for Victor Axelson. After his ankle injury and back injury. I do think Victor is, is one of those players that as soon as you give him a lead and he becomes even more comfortable and he almost turns into a Superman then and he, it's so hard. Oh, wonderful. Oh, my goodness. Wonderful. what Ng Si Yong has done. That's a beauty. Yeah. Clinch for the fist. Oh, well, was... The other one goes long. Oh, that's a lovely one. Oh, it's a neck cord in the turn. Oh, 
Rangers challenge. Really long. Opening game. So one game to the good. Ng Siyong. Oh, players to qualify. The last two qualifying tournaments in the top seven to qualify in the men's singles. Cheap points, easy mistakes, gifted, especially after he's lost the first game. Yep. Oh, that's wonderful. Just simply making too many errors. Part of that is, as you say, because he's stressed. Oh my goodness! thing with every discipline some kind of variation just something a little bit different oh. if what you're doing is work Ball. make that seven straight points good flick serve oh. nice smash Missed it. Nice. Yeah, Axelson's going to say, well, I'm going to do the same thing. Now, Game. Olympic champion and current world Play. number one, Victor Axelson. Bouncing back after losing the open game 22 20 to take the second 21 11. Certainly got the better end from which to play. I can't remember when I last saw a player being examined to find out what the injury problem was. It's well left. That's a beautiful shot. It can be very, very serious. I want a medic to look at them and make sure the player is aware, calling for it at an opportune moment. It's, it's not an opportune moment at, at one or whatever it was in this deciding game. That's not a tactic. And it's such a difficult one to figure out the correct solution for. Well, I think a, a dialogue would oh. be a, open. No. Oh, that's a missed opportunity. This is a big point. Oh, my goodness. But it took it. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, oh service ball called. Too high. Oh, 
Oh, good nice shot. Uh, his second victory here yeah, for John Paul number one. Super play. It's going wide. a moment of magic. What a miss. Brilliant run. There. Yeah. And they...